Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Moral Wind. Um, sorry, I just woke up. I did some chores, rolled right into it. You know me, mindlessly devoted to my craft of, you know, dicking around on camera. Truly, I'm like the Picasso Wealth of painting. Beyond measure, Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. I, uh... <laughs> God. It's... I think it is weird how Morrowind does feel more alive than Skyrim does. To me, at least. Um... Who knows, really? Uh, hmm. oh. may speak. Let's see here. We're looking for the Mage's Guild, if I remember correctly. One reason that I think that this game appeals to me is because it really forces me to think like a neurotypical person. Um... And so, like, I get a... I don't know. How do I put this? It feels more roleplay-y to be so focused on what I'm doing, you know? Because sometimes in a game, I'll be, like, just dicking around, you know? Like, I'll have a podcast on. I'll be doing 30 other things, you know. Like, I'm, I'm playing a game, but I'm also listening to an audiobook or, uh, like, doing a dish. If I can help, I will, but don't take too much time. Eating a meal, something like that. So here's an interesting thing. Um, in other games, soul gems are filled with Soul gems only have the tiers that they come in, but in this game, the size of the soul is based specifically on the enemy it came from. So you can see that these have an owlet, a rat, and a skeleton warrior contained within. Another skeleton warrior, an Algum titan. Holy shit, a Dremora? Only a Gwar in there, and a Blighted Kigori. The idea that a... This is a relevant thing, by the way, which is why I'm reading it. Um, do, do, do. Uh, the idea of a collection of mages, sorcerers, and assorted mystics pooling their resources and talents for the purpose of research and public charity was a revolutionary concept in the early years of the Second Era. The only organization then closest in aim and structure to what we know of the Mages Guild was the Sidic Order of the Isle of Artacum. Um, you may recognize the Sigic Order from the Mage's Guild questline in Skyrim. I'm assuming that most people came here from Skyrim. Um, I did. Skyrim was my first Elder Scrolls, and then I played Morrowind, and I was like, wow, this is better. Even though it sucks. Um, Mor <laughs> Mor Morrowind players are all like, this game looks like shit. We know. Uh, also, the Sigic Order was supposed to be an unpronounceable word. Sigic is based off of, I think, Sithis, the relevant god to the Dark Brotherhood. Um, and he's just supposed... The word is supposed to be unpronounceable, which is why it's that. Uh, at the time, magic was something to be learned by individuals or at most within intimate covens. Mages were, if not actually hermits, quite solitary. Sigic Order served as the rulers of Somerset as its counselors and shows its members through a complex, ritualized method not understood by outsiders. Purposes and goals likewise went unpublished, and detractors attributed the worst evils as the source of the Order's power. Actually, the religion of the Old Order could be described as ancestor worship as an increasingly unfavorable philosophy, an increase, increasingly unfavorable philosophy in the Second Era. So, um, the Somerset Isles are where the High Elves live, with the Ultimer. Um, the Ultima are the most genetically pure elves. Um, they're the most inbred, you see. 
uh, and closest to the original Aldmer, which uh, Aldmer are the direct descendants of the old Elnofe, who are the direct descendants of the Elnofe, who are believed to be the direct descendants of gods. So, in that sense, Aldmer are the most pure elves. They're the most elfy of elves. Um, and they're a subset of elves that do not exist anymore, along with Chimer, which we will talk about later because they heavily, heavily feature into the plot of this game. Um, Dwemer also count, but in a different way for a different reason. Anyhow. Um, and uh, they, of course, practice ancestor worship. They also worship the gods, but to the Altmer, those are kind of the same thing. Because, you know. Sorry, I'm just watching my levels peaking. Uh, when Vanis Galerion, a Sigic, uh, fucking Sigic student, and the famed Iachesis, 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 uh, began collecting magic users from around Somerset Isle, he attracted the animosity of all. He was operating out of the urban center of First Hold, and there was a common, and not unentirely unfounded, attitude that magical experiments should be conducted in unpopulated areas. More shockingly, Galerion proposed to make magical items, potions, and even spells available to any member of the general public who could afford to pay. No longer was magic to be limited either to the aristocracy or intelligentsia. Intelligentsia. Intelligentsia? Um, Galerion was brought before Iachis and the king at first told Rillis uh, the Twelfth and made to state the intentions of the fraternity he was forming. The fact that Galerion's speech to Rillis and Iachesis was not recorded for posterity is doubtless a tragedy, though it does afford an opportunity for historians to amuse one another with speculations about the lies and persuasions Galerion might have used to found the ubiquitous organization. The charter, at any rate, was approved. Nearly after the f guild was formed, the question of security had to be addressed. Isle did not require a force of arms to shield it from invaders. When the strategic order does not wish some to land on the Isle, uh, it and all of its inhabitants simply become un insubstantial. Pardon me. The new mages' guild, by contrast, had higher guards. Glarin soon discovered what the Temerlian nobility has known for thousands of years. Money alone does not buy loyalty. Nightly Order of the Lamp was found the following year. Like tree from an acorn, the mages' guild grew branches all over the Somerset Isle and eventually the mainland of Tamriel. Um, of note, the Elder Scrolls all takes place on Tamriel, and so Skyrim is like a state within Tamriel. Um... Morrowind is a state within it. They're meant to be countries, but they're called provinces, and they're much more like the size of states. Uh, Morrowind is only about nine square miles, I think. Skyrim is only about 16. Cyrodiil, the one in Oblivion, the fourth game, is the largest at nearly 20 square miles, but even that is pretty small. Um, and there is some space compression, like in the Fallout games, you could not walk across all of Boston in like the 20 minutes you can in game, but you can in Fallout 4. Um, and so theoretically there is a thing where like Morrowind is supposed to be larger than presented in game, but you know, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. <laughs> Numerous records of superstitions or sensibly fearful rulers forbidding the guild in their domains, but their heirs or heirs heirs eventually recognize the wisdom of allowing the guild free reign. Oh, of course, these fucking magic users just jerking off how great magic is. Hey, you know what won't fail you? Sword. Unless, you know, you fail the dice roll that's only in this game. Uh, Mage's Guild has become a powerful force in Tamriel, a dangerous foe if a somewhat disinterested ally. Uh, there have been only a few rare incidents of Mage Guild actually becoming involved in local political struggles. On these occasions, the guild's participation has been the ultimate decider in the conflict. <laughs> As begun by Vanis Galerion, the Mage's Guild is an institution presided on over a Supreme Council of six Arch Magisters. Its guild hall is run by a Guild Magister, assisted by the Twofold Council, Master of Incunabula and the Master of Arms. Master of Glibberlibre presides over an additional council of two mages, Master of Academia and the Master of the Scry. Master of Arms also has a council too. Master of Initiates and the Palatinius. Um, Paladin comes from Palatine Hill, which is a real world place on Earth. Um, Paladin means palace guard. Palace means the castle on Palatine Hill. Which is why uh, it's a little weird to see 
paladin in other like worlds where Palatine Hill does not exist and words that draw from it, you know, like Palatinius. Um, Templar, it's not as bad as Templar because Templar is even more specific and couched in earth history. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe Crusader. Crusader probably has some entomo etymological. Etymological is the study of insects. Uh, etymological ideas I'm not aware of. Uh, leader of the local chapter of the Order of the Lamp. One need not be a member of the Mages Guild to know that this carefully contrived hierarchy is nothing more than a chimera. Vanis Galerion himself said bitterly, leaving Tamriel to travel to other lands, the Guild has become nothing more than an intricate morass of political infighting. Step right up, Galena Pitchblend, and look over my collection of scrolls. How about this flashy and cheap Talum Scorcher to burn your foes? Or on Ducey's Unhinging, if you see uh, if... Uh, to open stuck chests and doors. Go into somewhere dangerous, try some scrolls of vitality and vigor to restore your and your and health and fatigue. Is that that's not right, is it? Restore your and health and fatigue. Typo. Uh, if you're in real trouble, you'll want alms of the intervention or divine intervention to transport you instantly to the nearest temple or imperial shrine. Uh, this isn't relevant. Sorry, what are we doing? Weird dream. Uh, Sharn Gra Muzgab. Based on that name, we can tell that they're an orc. And based on the fact that it's Gra, I believe that means that they're a woman. You know, a shork. A she-orc? Want to join the Mages Guild? You look like you could join it. Sure. You're now a member. Welcome, associate. Ask for duties. Okay. Goodbye. Does that mean I can loot this chest? Sure does. Oh, I am now carrying 172 out of 200 units. And, as you may recall, we can divide 172 by 0 0.185 to divine the full number. I subtracted it by mistake, pardon me. Divided by 0 0.185. Fuck. Multiplied by it. I'm pretty sure I'm discalculating. That is 32 pounds. Just about. Rounding up, of course. Why make it easier on myself? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm dysgraphic or discalculated or something. I've shown things that look like uh, dyslexia. These are long, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they're pretty long, and there's a lot of them. Um, I can come back and read these later, though, so, like, who cares? I actually intend to read every book in Morrowind. Uh, orcs have, I think, names passed down the same gender. Uh, so, like, my name would be Alfred Gro Carey, I think. Because that's my dad's name. And then Gro just means son of parent of the same sex. Um, I greet you as a friend. Uh, no, no interruptions. Oh, how many times? Oh, you're one of Caius' associates? That's a different matter. Caius and I have a very satisfactory arrangement. They fucking. Uh, and I'm sure you can come to some. We can come to some sort of agreement if you run an errand for me. I need the skull of Le, Le Vule Andrano. You'll find it in the Andrano Ancestral Tomb. Take care not to upset the natives. The Dunmer have some peculiar primitive prejudice against necromancy. Oh, Christ. Where's the tomb? Uh, it's the south of Pelagia, just off the road, just before you reach the, folk, the fork where the road goes southwest before Sidonine and southeast to Vivec. You may need an enchanted blade. Some spirits are immune to normal weapons. Uh, take this old short sword. Maybe these scrolls will come in handy. Okay. Speak with Ajira. 
Um, okay, let's take a look. Door and drink blade. Fire blade. Short blade, one handed. Uh, not bad. And now we have Almost of the Intervention, Divine Intervention, Vitality. Um, I don't have a way to do magic in this game. I mean, my character doesn't. Uh, and I normally would... I, okay, let me back up. I intended to do like this one perfect, complete playthrough of Morrowind. But Morrowind is such an open game that like that is an impossible question to answer what the hell that actually is. Uh, so I instead decided on Oh cool. Um let's check the time. It's three PM. Uh and let's hit the road while I'm talking here. I was gonna be like Hold on, I gotta check where the hell Cedanian is. It's back home, right? Oh yeah, Pelagiot, right there. I was debating doing like this one perfect playthrough of Morrowind, but that's so open that like, how the hell do you do that? Um, and my answer is that you play a Dunmer, and then I usually have um, a lot of different skills from all over the place. Uh, mostly because I like building balanced characters, but it also allows you as the player to get a lot of different cool things going on. Yeah, let's head out this way. It's three, and I'm at 181. 181 times 0.185 is 34 pounds about okay and it's still three okay so i gotta make it there hell yeah love those fucking things uh how does one go about doing a one perfect run of morrowind um and i would tag uh enough weapon skills to use like the cannon weapons um i would use any and all items that nerevar would actually use like generic axe moon and star um oh god i forgot the name fire brand fire oh god what's the name of that his flame sword you know the one it emits light Um, and like I would fool around with all the other weapons just to show you like spears and daggers and axes even though I wouldn't really like have them on my person too much Pelagiad Caldera okay so head to Pelagiad and then when the fork in the road comes up go between it I think she said Um, sorry, trying to think of my things happening. Nothing's happening. But yeah, that was my thought process for Morrowind. Uh, but when I decided to do Morrowind IRL, I was like, well, I'm not going to be able to cast magic, am I? Little, little thing of uh, magic not existing in the real world. Okay, we're still heading to Pelagiad. Um, now, I don't have any points in Sneak, but I do have Stealthy Armor on. So who knows, maybe. I've also got a bow now, as well as a spear. So maybe I won't be so bad off. Oh, we got a rat. Maybe not that. All right, I got chewed on a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah. 
Sorry, I'm amusing myself. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, that killed it. Perfect. Left my passion in the good old fashioned school of lover boys. All right, Plagiad. Back to Balmora. Not can't. All right, cool. What time is it now? It's five. So I've been walking for two hours. But yeah, one of these inspirations was seeing how long the distance that Sam and Frodo actually walked was. It's like. I forget how long it actually is, although I could find it. Um, yeah, so if you put um, the Shire in Illinois, Bilbo walked to uh, Michigan, and Frodo walked to Florida. That's how long the walks were, if you scale it to the real world. Uh, the thing about Morrowind scaled to the real world is that it's not very big. Uh, as we discussed, um, space compression is going on, and this thing that normally would be like a couple hundred, like couple hundred, maybe a couple thousand, maybe a couple hundred thousand kilometers, uh, is pretty small. I can't remember if this is it, so I'm just checking. Adanumuran. Comberry. Maybe it's cornberry, huh? But yeah, seeing that post was like a big inspiration because like, that's cool, man. Could I walk to Florida in a year? And no, because I, I live here, you see. I would have to come back and pay rent and things. What can I help you with? I mean, I know that you have a side quest for me, so... <clears throat> Pardon me. Pelagiad. Okay, we're getting closer. I'm not sure of my opinion of the fact that we're going back this way. Like, we've got such a big open world, and following the main quest makes us backtrack. Andrano Ancestral Tomb. South of Pelagiad. Oh, fuck. Alright, well, he totally missed me. As it is, I'm only going to have to take, like, two hits so far. Which is good. Um, I should double down on working on my short blade, I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. I love seeing things load in. I could probably fiddle with the uh, load settings. But yeah, I, I could see, like, the player wanting to... Pelagiad, main road, back road, not more. I could see the player wanting to, like, you know, explore, go further than... The three towns that we've been in. Yeah, Balmora, Moonmouth, Pelagiad, and Sidonin. There's only, like, four-ish landmarks. Granted, there are some other things we could do, but... You know. 
following the main quest, the game doesn't tell you to. And, like, I could foresee how, like, that, that would be cool, you know? All right. South of Pelagia, just off the road, before the fork, before the road goes southwest to Sidonine and southeast to Vivek. Oops. I will um, accommodate and congratulate our player character for being an excellent draftsman. Their ability to... Uh... Oh, boy. So that's a guar. Let's give it a shot. Actually, why take a chance? So one of the things about this game There's like <laughs> the die roll I think still occurs when an arrow hits the target. So like you're not sure if you missed because you didn't have the cursor on the right thing or because your skill wasn't high enough and the die roll wasn't favorable enough. Which is kind of silly. All right, so we're going to get to a signpost and it'll say one will say Vivek, one will say Sidonin. <clears throat> Morrowind combat, dude. It's a fucking game. See the neen. Go back. Okay. Oh boy. So we're heading this way then, huh? Do south. This guy's look really good. Oh. I was like, ah, the die roll system. Isn't it, huh? Is there a survival mod for Morrowind? I imagine that there must be. There's a lot of um, good survival mods for Fallout. You know, because it's Fallout. Well, I'm nearly at Vivek now, damn it. Is it more this way? Man, more of an experience, huh? It's dark. All this bullshit around me. Yeah. So you guys want to hear about the creation myth? There's these nine things called Adra. Uh, who are basically gods. And then there's these other 18 to 9, maybe some other things called Daedra. Uh, and Daedra are demons. They both come from Eteda.
They both come from uh, a core species called Eteta, basically. Um, and Aedra just means creator. And Daedra just means not creator. Because the Aedra gave up uh, some of their power to create the world we're on, which is called Nern. Nern's the planet. Tamriel is a continent on that planet. And there are other continents, but... Am I not hitting him? I fought mud crabs fiercer than you. Um, originally, there was this dude called Lorcan, who uh, the Nords of Skyrim refer to as Shore. That's just the Quama mine again, right? That must be. Yeah, that must be the Quama mine. Okay. Uh, the Nords refer to as Shorn. Shor. S-H-O-R. Um, and he was like, guys, what if we made a world? Of course, there's some shenanigans before that involving Anu and Padome, but... For now, the, the concept is those two guys. Alright. Ebonheart and Vivac should be on this one. No. Vivek. See the name. So south of here? Um, anyway, the beings that would become the Aedra all willingly gave up their power unless you subscribe to a different... Oh, this is going to be annoying. Um, I'm going to try to hug the shoreline here. Because I don't... My pool isn't open yet. So I'm not able to swim. So I wouldn't be able to simulate swimming. Crap, I'm swimming now. It'd be nice to have some scrolls of water walking. But that doesn't appear to be the case. All right, one moment. Just going to do a quick Google search for the sake of brevity and my sanity. All right, I did a quick look. So we should be heading this way. It's going to be confusing to try to chart this, considering I've gone all in circles. Anyway, some legends say that Lorcan slash Shore tricked uh, the other Ateda into giving up their powers. Um, all worth it for making a world, though, right? Well, some of them didn't think so. So uh, they killed him and uh, put his heart, like shot an arrow through his heart and buried it at the center of Nern. Um, and like they tore pieces out of him and shit. Anyway, so the moons, uh, which is actually a very interesting system. They're not out right now because of the cloud cover. Uh, but the moons are allegedly the flesh divinity of Lorcan. I looked at this fucking bridge before. I'm salty that I didn't get anything done with it. Oh, another mud crab. We're in the Ascadian Isles region, which are the, all these little things down here. Anyway, they ripped two big parts out of uh, Lorcan, and those became the moons, which aren't actually moons. They're the flesh divinity, like we said. You see the need, Vivek. So if I head south right now, I should hit it, right? Just before it goes southwest and southeast. South of Pelagiad. Mm -hmm. 
The that's Pelagiad. Am I getting close here? I've got a tab open with uh, Elder Scrolls Wiki. Okay, it's on this little thing here. It should be on this little coast. Anyway, the heart of Lorcan was torn out of him and embedded in the Red Mountain, which is the big... this thingy. Now at 183. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. I was going to try to avoid using Silt Striders. I, I guess the return trip's going to be pretty easy. Uh, this is Vivek, though. The city. Vivek is one of the three god kings that rules over uh, Morrowind. Long story there. Ah, hell, why don't I tell it? Uh, basically, the Dwemer... Let me back up even further. Let me find where the hell I'm going. God damn it. I think it's here, then? Yeah, so let's set myself this way. I'll even turn my mouse off. Just play Moral with a trackpad. That's not a stupid way to play, right? Anyway, prior to the, the, some shenanigans, um, Morrowind was actually peopled by a race of elves called the Chimer, or Chimer. Uh, and they had golden skin. Uh, more golden even than the Ultimer. Or the High Elves. Jesus. Uh, and they got into a war with the Dunmer. Fuck, god damn it. I said it again. Uh, Dwemer, not the Dunmer. I confuse those a lot because of their similar sound, I guess. Dun and Dwe are not very similar. Um, Dwemer, right. Dwemer, Dwemer. Kymer got into a war with Dwemer. Um, thanks to an enterprising cool Kymer called Nerevar, who will become very relevant in the plot in the of the... And we've got to swim. Okay. I'll bank all of this swimming and do it all at once later. Thanks to a dude called Nerevar, um, the Dwemer and the Chimer made an alliance, also potentially with the Argonians, uh, and fought... Okay, cool. Uh, they fought off the invading Nords. Originally they were at war, and then they weren't. Uh, and the dude in charge of the Dwemer, Dwarf King Dumak, was actually at uh, Nerevar's wedding. I think he was his best man, and he gave him and his wife uh, bridal gifts. Wait. And this is the wrong ancest. How many? How many ancestral tombs could there possibly be? <laughs> I'm gonna save because I haven't saved in a while.
Netches can be a little bit of a problem, but I don't want to anger them if I don't have to. So I'm going to try to steer through them. Ooh, maybe that's it. Bridge means civilization happened. Is anyone fucking with me? No? Good. Uh, Nerevar, in addition to being a cool guy, had a bunch of friends with him. And those friends all synced up to uh, the, like, predominant birth signs in the Elder Scrolls. Which is Mage, Thief, Warrior. Sinanin. Palagiad. I'm in the wrong place, aren't I? Oh, I've got to jump this, but I can't. Friendly warning, don't spook the Netch. They're safe, you don't bother them, but get them riled up. And they're trouble, especially the Betty Netch. Betty Netch is the tough one. It's the Bull Netch that's poisonous, but the Betty Netch is twice as tough and twice as mean. Can you... Anyway, yeah, this is the relevant thing, um, Nerevar. Uh, they have a prophecy that the Nerevarine, aka the Muad'Dib, will return, unite the Dunmer, fight a bunch of shit. I'm listening. Go ahead. Oops. Um, who oh boy. Maybe I can take refuge, ref, yeah, refuge in here. Uh, specific place. Vivek has eight cantons. Great. I suppose you can't tell me where that thing is. What is this about? Grogar plantation, huh? I don't know you, what do you want? I don't know you, what do you want? Daedra, you know what they are, right? Daedra Shrine to where Daedra Culps worship Daedra. Bad people who summon Daedra. Stay away from them, because Daedra are nasty. The folks that worship them are even nastier. Yeah, because like something that's... You have to think about it. Something that's in nature is to be evil. Like a Daedra... Some of them are just like predisposed to be evil. Not here to give you direction now, Lander. Go ask your what friends. Is this about? Enemies are nearby, you say? Sorry, can I get my weapon out? Thank you. Oh, they got me. Hey, my unarmored skill went up, though. Sorry, I'm fooling around. Uh, let's officially rest here. God damn it. Alright, what's the word, huh? Ooh, an expensive amulet. And an expensive ring. An expensive shirt. And sh well, the shoes are okay. Ooh, an expensive belt. Another ring. And jugs. Let's uh, pop this out of my inventory. All right, well. Just fine. Oh, do you have anything good on you? A silver flame blade? An expensive shirt? Money? An amulet? And a skirt. Right. Can't walk when you're over encumbered. Forgot about that. Um, let's find something to drop. Candlestick. 
I don't know why I got all... Oh, uh, it's because I stole everything. Let's drink one matzah. It saps your intelligence and willpower. Because it's alcohol. But it makes your strength go up, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's drink something. Here we go. Wait, what was that? Rising forest, not what we want. Cheap restore health. Let's have three of them. I do, yes. Wow. Bone mold. Wow, look at all these good things. Oh, muffin! And a basement key. Uh, now, if I were to put all of this on, it would be worse. God damn it. The Dark Brotherhood gear, like, it's kind of unfortunate how you get it so early, but it is not better than what you... Uh, Oh, the Matza wore off. But it's not better than what you get later. Or it's in magic, right? Matza. I'm not sure how I'm going to abstract this out. Basement key. All right. Can I bring this bitch any skull, or will does she just want the one? Alright. Cool. Bone. Mm. Oh, my God. Your bones will be my dinner. <laughs> this is getting a little silly, I think. Come on. Just fall down already, man. So here we're seeing the case where like his his blade skill isn't high enough. Oh boy. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Pretty smart to think about it now, huh? Both of you, huh? Come on. Okay. Sorry, I have to go kick my cat out. I'll be right back. 
Hey, I killed those guys, and then I came outside. You can see the moons now. Masa and Secunda. Something interesting about these moons, one of them actually goes around the other, and then the big moon goes around the whole planet. Neat, huh? Um, now, you may be able to see why this game is so awful for me. Oh, also, I stole one of their shields. Uh, why this game is, like, so awful for me. Because, like, I... <laughs> it's really hard for me to play this game. Because <laughs> my brain doesn't work right, you see. Right, let's see the full-size image. We are not really near it. All right, let's go this way, then. Uh, it's 3 a.m. I've been walking for 12 hours. And the thing that I drink adds 100 pounds, so I'm going to count this as 128 units. I'll do the math later. Um, and then I'll count the first fight that I had with those guys that actually succeeded as the one that, like, counts, I guess. Oh, God. Someone's on my door. One moment. Jesus Christ. Okay. Some guy was just here to fix our toilet. I had to let him in because... Uh, for God's sakes. Basically, the handle's made of plastic. And so it just snapped in half a couple days ago. Which is, of course, not the first time it's snapped in half. Because every time they fix it, they just put more plastic on. Anyway. Netches are a species that only exist within Morrowind and the surrounding areas, like Solstheim. time. Um, they float thanks to the plants that they eat. They're kind of like jellyfish that live on the surface. As mentioned, um, bull netches give poison and paralysis, which is to say they envenom the target, um, and I believe can paralyze you with a pretty nasty effect. They're not really worth fucking with. I think it's right here. However, Betty Natchez um, are just mean motherfuckers. Right. The wiki showed me a distinctive pile of rocks that I'd love to be able to... Mm, God. What am I carrying? A silver shard sword. Silver flame sword. How much is it? The weight is 16. If I were to drop this club as well. Much better. Yeah, don't fuck with them. They won't fuck with you. As for why I decided to kill that random woman, um, it was because she was impolite to me. Uh, and because I'm going a bit crazy here, trying to do just the main quest. Um, I might have mentioned this already, but uh, as for how I'm going to make the these things work, I should have a yeah, regular weapon. There we go. I'm going to play with my cat without socks. I figure that'll emulate it well enough. 
I blink at the wrong time? Your animation looked fucked up there, bud. Crab meat has no effect on me. Damn, bro. Oh, this looks like something. There's a gore. Okay. Looks like it's got a trainer, though, so that's good. Wealth beyond measure. Uh. Corky. Hi. Okay, I'm going to take a rest. It's five in the morning. All right. It's 7 a.m. Still lost. But I see things, so maybe I'm getting back towards civilization. Maybe I can ask someone what the hell this thing is. And of course, let's not forget that once we're there, we still have to find a skull and then go home from there. <laughs> Where are we? The Dren Plantation. Uh, this is Orvis Dren's Plantation. All the work. Nets processing, storing, shippage. Western Park. Guardhouse in the northeast and the villas in the southeast. Ask or get going. Did I kill them? Were those the people I killed? I guess it's possible. Okay. I'm going to copy this image and I'm going to paste it into paint. I'm going to zoom in on the bottom. I'm going to try to side by side compare this shit. It should be, like, right here, right? Yeah, like, right here. Alright. It's 8 a.m. now. I'm gonna come back in when I find it. Hey, so I got in a little fight while getting lost. Um, but I got a Chitin War Axe. Which weighs less, so I'll take it. I'm now in an area called Manmamar, I believe. Uh, and I got hit like 30 times. Oh, One of those hits doesn't count. She hit me on my shield. She's dead, cool. Silver dagger, nice. Then we're gonna rest. Hmm. Oh, that's a long sword, huh? Oh, cool. He's using a spell of add weight to me. Pointless. Get in. God. 
Well, I guess now you can see the fight. Wait, which fight is this? It's this one. Well, I guess it's good that I saved at least. No one can match me. Uh, bro. Switch your weapon now. Oh boy. Here it comes. Alright, well let's wait then till I'm healed. Maybe I can sneak, huh? Not from that far away, though. So there's actually an option that you can turn on in the menus to just make sure that you always use the greatest attack ever. Will I? Oh, God. Why is it after? It's not necessarily your best bet to uh, use uh, to go down these little dungeons. Since, like I mentioned earlier, this game does not have level scaling. comes chuckle fuck this round. have I <laughs> hey there's your big friend gone <laughs> dumbass iron claymore it's okay That's a steal. All right. I'm only going to count a few of those hits. I'll figure out how many in post because I used a healing spell. A healing scroll. Oh, that's all you have? Oh, no, that's not all you have. Take two of those, huh? God damn it. All right. Oh, wow. One moment, everyone. Hey, so I flew into battle and uh, completely immobilized her with the first swing. Actually, what is, what is next to leveling up? Short blade just leveled up. Blunt weapon is not very close. Marksman... Ooh, spear. I have you. Do you have me, dude? Ah. I was cocky. Ah. All right, well, why take a chance, you know? The Kitan War Axe is still queer ass. Which is just upsetting that it's not better. Steel gauntlets. Oh, nice. My mysticism leveled up. Iron dagger, iron longsword, iron greaves. 
I'm not gonna need to restore intelligence. Petty soul gem is nice. Ooh, a chitin helm. Okay, cool. Iron Greaves. Iron Saber. Ooh, flame. And Moon Sugar. That's good stuff right there. Board and that's leather helm. What am I wearing? Twelve. Not better. That's alright. Telvani Bug Musk. Mmm. More moon sugar. Brandy. Bread has no effect on me. Maybe I... Lockpick. Crap, I don't know how to lockpick in this game. That just occurred to me. scroll, I think, that'll open something. Look at that! Alright. Great. Is this the way out? I hope so. So yeah, that's one of the things with Morrowind. Um, sometimes if you don't have what it takes to deal with a... To deal with a dungeon, just... You might have to quit. You're not gonna kill me, dude. Nerevar guides me. Alright. Iron arrows. Yoink. Shortbow. Meh. Um, why do I have these? Maybe it's because they weigh 50, or they're worth 50. Rather. Um, let's drop the silver dagger, or the steel one, since I can get a fresh one later. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Ooh, common shoes. Not worth a scroll. Looks like they had, like, a soul trap in operation running down here. Chitin boots. I love the chitin gear, man. I just can't currently justify wearing it since I'm gonna get my ass whooped. Ooh, an iron spear. It's my normal one. Wait, seven. Wait, fourteen. Jeez, oh, Pete. Iron warhammer. Let's drop the axe. Not really using it a lot. It's not my best thing. Crap. Um. Hmm. Let's get drunk in this dungeon then. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a plan. 
save that shit. I'm very sorry I got lost and distracted. This is this is why Morrowind is a game I've only like seen the ending of like once maybe. Yeah, I've seen the ending. Um but like, I get so easily distracted and like, you have to so keep in mind where everything is. Kite and short sword. You know, it's just very hard to keep track of all of the things, especially when your brain doesn't work right. Ooh. Hell yeah. I'm going to take that because it's worth something. Nice. Dominant. What the hell? And as we discussed earlier, if I use an item that increases my carry weight, I'm just going to take 100 units off whatever it is I'm currently packing. Or the equivalent amount. Club. My pack rat nature is getting the better of me, too. Here's hoping that it doesn't bite me in the ass, huh? Fuck it. <laughs> get out of the water, man! No, get out of the water! Oh god! <laughs> Just chug. <laughs> I hate these things. They're so creepy. Ugh. Yeah, that's a drug. A druff. A drug. A drew. At least in this game, you have underwater combat. But underwater combat means that they have to justify having scarier enemies. Oh, jeez, man. I hate those things so much. Hey, I'm over-encumbered. Great. This thing's gonna play hell on me. Alright, so I'm back here. Cool. I guess that means I should just go out the way I came, huh? Remember jumping everywhere will increase your acrobatics. And if you have acrobatics as a tag skill, or a uh, major or minor skill, rather, that'll get you levels. As it is, I'm not sure how close I am to a level right now. I guess I could look. Not very close. Five out of ten, yeah. It's not great. Okay. I thought that these rocks were going to be the rocks, man. I'm so freaking lost. I'm so dumb. Help me.
Come on, where's the Flynn? Give me the Flynn. Oh, there's the Flynn. Am I going to have to look up a fucking walkthrough on how to do this? I might as well. Hey, I looked up an actual video of this place. In the hopes that maybe this would be it. Uh, but we'll see, won't we? I don't think this is it. I just, if this isn't it, I want my disappointment to be captured on camera. I've gotten so lost. I've looked at three different wikis. I, <laughs> this isn't it. I've been here already. <laughs> All right, I've been walking for another 10 minutes. I've been carrying almost my maximum weight. I think I might have found it though. I also swam for like two minutes straight or two minutes total, I guess. And as I say, I've been at my, at or near my maximum weight. This isn't it. This can't be it. It's not it. I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> uh, what if I just head directly south from here? That's part of why this game is just like really hard to get into. Because some people do not have the ability to do it. Uh, you give me 50 symptoms, and in return, you'll be allowed to... What? No. Yes. Alright, let's see here. Silver Flame Blade, Silver Flame Sword. Pretty even, but one of these is heavier. <laughs> Shame, his armor was kind of dope. Let's rest some more. <sighs> I tried to watch another video, it was unhelpful. Like, I'm trying to both stay on the roads and also shortcut to wherever the hell I'm trying to get. Doing both of those is poison. I'm I'm in hell. <laughs> is what I'm getting at. Let's eat some crab meat. Mm, crab meat. Raw crab can't taste good, right? I mean, like, when they say something tastes fishy... I can't believe how long I've been lost. I've been lost like this whole episode. This is the Morrowind experience. Vivek, Pelagiad. Okay, so heading south from here where the road... Or no, in between them, right? South of... That's Vivek, that can't be it. Okay, the road is forking here. So Pelagiad, Vivek. Just before the fork, we're going southwest to Sidonin and southeast to Vivek. Sidonin, Vivek. This way? Head south, she said. 
That's the symbol of being bored and being lost in moral when your acrobatics went up. Ooh. Good. Been jumping and doing nothing. I've been here before, haven't I? I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, God. Ooh, a poil. A collop, you say? The gimp suit I'm wearing kind of does make me look like a uh, pearl diver. That gimp is in the fetish gear. Uh, the slang term for the leather fetish gear, not the uh, slur for a disabled person. I would never dream of that. It's so... Oh, God, is that it? That better not be it. That better just be a regular old mine somewhere in the hills. The Andronos wouldn't have such a shitty door for their ancestral tomb, right? That can't be it. It's impossible. I've been... Okay, good. It's just a mine. How have I gotten so lost, man? <laughs> this is embarrassing. I can't believe this is only episode two. Maybe I won't even upload this. No, I have to. The nature of Morrowind. Where am I now? I'm in the Bitter Coast. I think that's close to where it is. I think it's in the Bitter Coast. Oh, now it's raining. Good. Good omen. This looks like the wiki. Suffer so not a crapper to live. God, I've been all over this stupid place. <sighs> I can't believe it's gone so bad only on the second episode. Hey, that rain looks pretty good, though. I'll admit. Uh, I'm not going to extract rain or anything in the real world because how would I? I think I've gone too far though. Is the wiki wrong? Like, am I looking in the wrong place? I feel like I must be. It's going to be a lot of unnecessary steps I'm taking. I can't believe it's only the second episode. The third one will be better, I promise. <sighs> I'll pause the recording again. Everyone, I found another tomb. I've been recording so long that now I'm just going to end the episode. But hey, that's been an episode of Morrowind. I got lost. I'll try to cut down on that in the future. But no promises because this game is Morrowind. Uh, next time, we'll pick up that skull, do some other things, and I'll avoid the urge to kill myself. Uh, but until then, I'm going to have breakfast, and you should take care of yourself too. I've been Elfriedrich, or Alfred. It's been Morrowind. See you guys next time. Have a good time.